Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we're going to take a uh, look at your energy here. We're going to take whatever comes out. It could be love, it could be uh, work, career, finance, whatever messages come out that are most needed. That's what we're going to look into. So please only take it how it resonates for you. It may or may not resonate. So please keep that in mind. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense, it's not just story. So please remember that it could be past, present, or future also. And uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. So Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. I hope everybody's staying healthy, safe, and well at this time. So Sagittarius Collective, this is a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below. Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. And if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see uh, and you vibe with my energy, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. And welcome to the tribe. All right, Sagittarius. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. With this deck here, I'll get an opening energy, and then I'll get um, our opening message, and then I'll get an energy for you, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, go over the bottoms of the decks, and then I'll get extra messages with that oracle at the end. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Male or female, general collective, assign element or planet, Sagittarius, please, spirit. Thank you so much for Sagittarius. Please, one card for Sagittarius. Okay, that one. Let's see what we have. Well, we have Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra or have Libra in your chart somewhere or know someone who has heavy Libra in their chart. But uh, if not, Libra does represent the justice in the tarot, which can talk about legal things. It could talk about forms, documents, paperwork. It can talk about legal advice, guidance, legal action, something in the justice department. Um, or it could talk about getting justice, serving justice, um, clarity. It could talk about clarity and balance. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so with this deck here and we do have uh seven libra is seven and that is about uh, divinely guided spiritual energy so let's see let's get an opening message for you sagittarius sun moon rising venus for the general collective sun moon rising venus and jupiter because i never know if these readings sometimes they're love sometimes they're not so i say sun moon rising venus and jupiter so collective male and female what is the opening message? Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. Opening. Thank you. We have salmon here. This does remind me. This card, and I know it says salmon, reminds me of Pisces with the two fish. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, but if not. But salmon here, which is 14, which is 5, which is about challenges and change. So let me just read a little snippet on salmon here. Since uh, I don't use these often enough. Magic, intuition, and wisdom. Magic, intuition, and wisdom. So that's your uh, opening message. <laughs> Is to believe in the magic. Trust your intuition. And seeking wisdom, uh, gaining wisdom, giving wisdom. So let's see what your energy is. So we have the bluebird here. And I think Pisces got this card too, if I'm not mistaken, but not in this position. So we have 33. So threes are about teamwork, collaboration. Uh, it's a social number. It's a community number. And if you add 33 to six, it's about healing and balance. So bluebird, bluebird here. Let me read a little snippet on that. 33 and that is so we have water energy and we have ear oh, let's see ear to do to bluebird i think it's the last one ah, i can't find it number 
Oh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Anyway. <laughs> Why can't I find it? Oh, here it is at the end. Optimism and hope, happiness and idealism. So you may be feeling optimistic right now, having hope, happiness, but idealism. So looking for an ideal situation. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the dog here, which is about loyalty. And we have three, again, coming out for teamwork, collaboration, community, social energy. So the dog is about loyalty, family, um, it's earth energy, loyalty, perseverance, affection from, for your tribe. So your tribe could be, you know, your close friends, your family, um, you know, people that you connect with on a soul level is your tribe. So loyalty to your tribe here. So let's see what's going on. So gaining wisdom, giving wisdom, believing in the magic, um, having faith, hope, and optimism. So let's see what all this energy is about, but yet being loyal to something here, loyal to your tribe. All right. But with that Libra there, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what that's about. If you're not dealing with the Libra, that's something that is justice. So let's see what that is about. What is going on for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what is going on with Sagittarius right now, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can we clarify this energy for Sagittarius? Three of Cups. So celebrating, um, having a good time. Uh, though we're all in quarantine right now, so however that works for you. Uh, but that is about celebrating, um, rejoicing, reuniting. Two of Cups. So this is soulmate energy. Reuniting with a soulmate. Hmm. Uniting or reuniting with someone that you feel is a soulmate. Having uh, oh, faith, hope, and optimism. Believing your, you know, trusting your intuition, your higher knowing, um, your wisdom. You could be seeking out, you know, wise advice. Also, Knight of Pentacles. So, you wanting to offer your pentacle to somebody here? It's stable, it's grounded, it's secure. It's very slow moving, very slow moving, but it's sincere, it's trustable. It's, um, pentacles are usually. This knight is the only one that usually crosses the finish line, so they say. The devil. Ooh uh, Capricorn energy here. So, you know, this could be about addictions, obsessions, uh, low self-esteem, low, um, you know, a low vibrational energy, like not uh, feeling good about yourself, depression. Um, it can be a strong sexual desire. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. What is going on here? What is this energy? Eight of Pentacles. So working on something, you could be just concentrating on your work right now, trying to get your mind off this uh, <laughs> strong desire maybe you have for somebody. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Eight of Wands. So you're wanting to travel to someone very quickly and shed, uh, Send these, the called Cupid's Arrows, and you are the centaur. So you're wanting to aim and shoot your arrows at somebody. But I feel like you're working to try to keep your mind off this. Could be because we're in quarantine. But yet you're also wanting to offer something stable to somebody. But you also feel that strong desire for them also. Very strong tie or bond with somebody. All right, so, all right, so let's see here. Let's get your actual situation. Let's see what your actual situation is here for you, Sagittarius, Four of Swords. So we're all in this Four of Swords mode right now. <laughs> we're all in uh, retreat mode. So we have 
the high priestess here, which could be Pisces. So this is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. This could be a very spiritual connection. Um, the two of cups, the devil and the high priestess. I mean, the devil doesn't mean, you know, it can be about addictions, obsessions and that kind of energy. It also can be a very strong, strong bond with somebody also. Or again, it could be like low vibrational energy, like low self-worth and doubt and fear kind of energy also. But we do have the three of pentacles energy, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. Um, and then we do have the four of wands, which is usually my twin flame card. Um, it's about, you know, firm foundations. Can be about marriage commitment um going on a date or moving in or something like that but we have the white doves there for peace harmony happiness joy all right what else is your situation here the nine of wands so not giving up about something perseverance and we did have that for uh was it the was it the dog energy was perseverance the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. He does not give up. He keeps fighting. Um, yeah, the dog perseverance. He keeps fighting on. That's my wounded soldier, battered, tattered soldier. He's been through the ringer. He's been through it in life, but he never gives up. If he has to get up and fight again, he will. So... I feel like here, there's something that you're not wanting to give up on. You're listening to your intuition, but we're kind of in hermit mode right now. So you could be just concentrating on work because we have that right in the center to get your mind off of everything else going on like in your life right now. So um, let's get, actually I want to clarify the devil. Why is that here? Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? Why is the devil here for Sagittarius? The king of wands well that's your energy <laughs> there you are yep there you are so you got the devil energy in you uh, for some reason so you know the king of wands very fiery passionate go-getter you know very ambitious a lot of drive and the three of wands so patiently waiting for something here a lot of fire energy but stuck feeling stuck so you're waiting for something but you're feeling stuck. But we have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So, I mean, we do have the energy here for like a soulmate reunion. It's a deep connection of some kind here. It could be spiritual. It could be twin flame. But you're trapped and there's waiting. Waiting. So you're trapped and bound by something here. But you're not giving up. You're not giving up. Not giving up here. On your situation i feel like you're just working to try to keep your mind off the situation so what are we stuck to with the eight of swords what is that so we have the six of wands and we have the ace of swords so the six of wands is about you know success victory accomplishment and the ace of swords is my like divine clarity card it's a brand new beginning it's truth it's clarity it's epiphany awakening it's um open, honest conversation, um, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you. So, I mean, you can use this Ace of Swords to cut away things no longer serving you. So, <clears throat> you're wanting success of some kind and you have the new beginning here waiting for you. Divine is trying to show you, but you're still stuck to something here still stuck in a situation it could be it could be anything or it's just the current situation of the world keeping us stuck so what are we stuck what are we stuck three of swords so heartache pain could be third party or a third person involved here it's a lot of pain and heartache of some sort but we do have the paint of pentacles here and usually this is a solid offer communication something solid here so, and it's where I was just placing it here. So now we have you patiently waiting for the right time to offer pentacle. And here's the knight 
moving forward with that offer, with the communication of that offer. But can't right now because we're stuck in the Four of Swords energy. Retreat mode, you know, healing, recuperating, intuition. Oh boy. So what else here for Sagittarius? What else here for Sagittarius? Two of Swords. So still a little stuck here, trying to make a decision on what to do here. But wanting to manifest a brand new beginning here with the Magician energy. Gemini Virgo. So, I mean, you could be stuck in quarantine right now in a third party situation that you don't want to be in and you want to manifest a new beginning elsewhere. I mean, the Libra energy, again, justice could represent uh, separation, divorce, if you're not dealing with the Libra. There's somebody here you you feel like you could have like a the high priestess and the devil, like a 5D uh, spiritual connection. And maybe you come to realize this person is your soulmate or twin flame and you don't want to give up on that but you're still stuck in another situation and you're still being loyal to that situation also but yet you're believing in the magic of like your intuition wow so but with the bluebirds there uh, what did we say that was now with the ear um Right, that was here, if I can find it. Anyway, I do believe that was about um, 33, Bluebird. About peace and harmony and uh, here it is. Optimism, hope and happiness, idealism. You could see this person as your ideal partner, like soulmate to inflame, but you're still stuck and bound to something else. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get your advice. Let's get your advice, guidance. I'm making a mess of my cards here. Advice, guidance for Sagittarius. Wow. So we got the Hierophant. <laughs> this talks about, again, that spiritual energy, faith, um, religion, um, morals, values, commitment, marriages, um, that kind of energy. But now we have the Knight of Wands, so moving forward, a lot of drive, pa passion, ambition kind of energy. All right, what else here for Sagittarius? Five of Pentacles. So leaving something behind that's no longer serving you. Or feeling like you're left out in the cold, neglected. Or energy of leaving something in that energy because you feel like it's no longer serving you. Yeah, making a final judgment call here, Scorpio here. We have Taurus, now we have Scorpio. So judgment, you know, can be about forgiveness, resurrection of soulmates, um, life review, relationship reviews, making a final decision and judgment call. So that's your advice. Where, where do you feel the most committed to? Is it the situation you're in now or this special, I feel like twin flame soulmate energy? I feel like it's just energetic that you feel like you have with somebody it's like, where does your passion lie? Where should you put your energy? What should you leave behind? What do you need to make a judgment call decision on here with the judgment decision? So let's see, what will you decide? What will you decide on? So, well, oh my God, we have the lovers and the ace of cups. <laughs> oh my God. So here's your divine lover, your soulmate, your twin flame. Here's a brand new beginning in love. Love and emotions overflowing. Uh, spiritual connection here. Bringing soulmates together. So you will choose your soulmate, twin flame, that you feel divinely connected to with this Ace of Cups. What else? Temperance. Well, there's your energy. There's your energy. Sagittarius. We got Gemini. So that's you. Balancing out your energy, peace, harmony, balance, healing, being patient. Being patient through this whole process to be with your ultimate soulmate to inflame lover. Love, very emotional, spiritual, emotions. Anything else? Wow. Ugh. So we have the two of pentacles. So, you know, still, I mean, like maybe juggling around this idea. 
a little bit or juggling around your energies how to make this happen so we got balancing here but we got balancing here anything else for Sagittarius six of Pentacles so very balanced equal give and take between two equal reciprocity this is the minor of the uh, Libra which would be justice we see the scales there where do you want justice how do you want justice it's time for you to decide here uh, Sagittarius so now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Did we have the King? No, we have the Knight. So we don't have a matching couple yet, but we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which could be a Capricorn. So someone you see is like that Empress-like energy, very secure, grounded, you know, they're self-sufficient, can take care of themselves. Seven of Wands. So either fighting for something, fighting for this, or being defensive on guard, maybe embodying both energies. So Page of Wands is that fiery uh, communication, very passionate communication. We do have the moon here, Cancer or Pisces, and now here's uh, Justice coming in. So, oops. So we have Justice coming in. Here's that Libra energy. So here's the moon with Pisces. So the moon can talk about not seeing the path clearly. It could talk about um, deep feelings, fear, you know, illusions secrets coming to light so but we do have justice here now which can be you know again getting justice serving justice divorce separation uh legal matters um truth clarity balancing out the scales so something will be justified here here but we do the next card here we do have the sun which is leo energy so this is that best card in the deck, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, um, best card. So you know what? We have the divine feminine and masculine here. So this is just confirming that this is twin flames and this is justified here with the justice card that this person indeed is your twin flame, whoever they may be. They could be a Cancer, or Pisces, or a Leo, but feminine masculine divine counterparts we have the four of wands the ace of cups the lovers the two of cups and here we are in the six of swords uh, going to a much better place of healing harmony and balance leaving the past behind kind of energy so wow that's what i see sagittarius i see that you're kind of stuck right now uh either in the situation or stuck from the past in your energy from the past but also you know quarantine we're stuck in that energy too but i feel like you feel a deep spiritual like twin flame soulmate connection with somebody and i, I feel like you have the energy of wanting to offer them something because you know that this is a special connection but yet you're still a little stuck so it's time to decide because we did have the judgment here on this and how do you want justice in your life Sagittarius so let's get some closing messages for you Sagittarius let's get some closing messages for Sagittarius Sagittarius and with the dog there I feel like you're being loyal to whatever situation you're in or you were in but yet kind of loyal to the energy of this uh, special connection you feel like you have with somebody too because we do have the energy here of the magician who wants to manifest something new and you do have the ace of cups here all right so in the ace of swords all right so let's see do we have the ace of um wands too no i don't think so no okay so Let's get some messages for you. I don't feel comfortable taking that. Let's get some messages for Sagittarius. Closing messages for Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. Love your body. We have 22, which is about two, is about partnerships and unity. And then uh, four. And this is like the twin flame number two. 11, 11, two, two, four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Because you see, um, 
1111. That's what they call that, the Twin Flame card. And, you know, 1111, 2, 2, and then 4. So now we have 4 here with uh, stability. So if you have, an, I don't know, body issues, you know, it's just saying to love who you are, you know. Just love who you are, Sagittarius. And I think this person... Or you feel that way about this person. Maybe they have body image issues. See the light. We have 33 here. Double three. Three again about social energy, community, uh, teamwork, collaboration. But this is like seeing the light. Uh, seeing the positive energy. You know, faith, hope, optimism. Spiritual energy. Seeing the light. Somebody could be shining their light for you to see and now you see that light all right sagittarius turn on the light i'm like I, I can't make this up turn on the light and see the light i <laughs> five challenge and change i feel like someone turned on the light their light and now you see the light so i feel like this person already knows what this connection is and now you're just awakening to what it is but you're still stuck somewhere or in your head or something here or it's because of quarantine but it's like the light was turned on and now you see the light oh my i can't make it up i cannot so let's see it's on the bottom of the deck so just have fun sag 42 6 peace harmony balance and have fun so this could be a very fun time for you coming up sag okay well i hope that made sense for you sagittarius so uh best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light.